Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now, and it is such an important month for you. Well, first of all, we continue into Scorpio month, right? Scorpio season. So it is your season. And again, happy birthday to all the Scorpios out there. And we very recently, before this month began, had a new moon in your sign. It's like your personal new year. And so you are coming into this month with particularly fresh energy and a sense of excitement about what could be possible going forward from here. It is in the middle of the month that the focus does change towards another person. Now there's a romantic way to understand this energy and I'll talk about that in just a moment when we get to the love portion of this video. But this really is highlighting partnerships. This full moon will be standing across the sky from you. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn. That adds power, that adds long-term potential. It is also speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. There's a sense of dreaminess at this time. However, it is standing across the sky from a Mercury retrograde in your sign, which does tell me that you may not be seeing things so clearly when it comes to another person. So it isn't necessarily the time to be very decisive where it comes to perhaps a business partnership or professional alliance that you have. It could be a good time for you to reconsider how you feel about being aligned with this person. However, this can be a time of some truth as well, some realization as well. Has this particular partnership served its purpose in your life? Do you feel like this partnership is actually helping you move towards your goals, towards your prosperity? Does it feel like a balanced partnership or not? At the very least, you'll be able to look at yourself and your own motives very deeply. You'll be able to also come to a new understanding with this person as well. For some, it may be the case where if you felt like it was over before, but you gave it another try, this is where you may realize that it isn't working. Now, regardless, know this, you are in a time of reflection, not necessarily a time of knowing for sure what your answers are and moving forward. However, you are also in a time of looking at what was before and comparing it in some ways to what is now and deciding how to refine your way forward from there. And how you are in relation to another is gonna be an important part of this journey. Now it is as we navigate late into the month that the blessings really go into overload, especially for you. We are going to have a new moon right around the 26th. And this new moon is happening in a financial part of your sky. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. Now Chiron is continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, your workplace, the people who surround you there and the type of work you're doing. It also has to do with your health as well. And so we've got this planet of the healer moving through this daily part of your life, health related part of your life. And we have it speaking in supreme harmony with a part of the sky that has to do with finances, money you earn and money you spend bringing new opportunities on those fronts, but also having to do with self-esteem and self-worth. So on a very basic level, I am seeing here healing, better health all around, uh, a sense of you feeling better about yourself and feeling better in your health as well. On another hand, this is a very prosperous energy. If you work as a healer of any kind, and I know that's a very broad umbrella, whether it is you know, professionally like a doctor or a nurse, whether it's alternative healing modalities, or whether it is spiritually as well, a spiritual healer, philosophical healer, all of that covered here, it can be these very endeavors that are especially prosperous for you at this time. But I think all, just about every Scorpio out there is going to find this a time where you are moving towards a greater sense of prosperity. And there very well may be new opportunities where it comes to the prosperity that you experience. New opportunities to earn money, but also opportunities to spend as well. Remember, Mercury retrograde for much of this month in your sign. Mercury will go direct just days before the new moon. 
And so it may feel like you know what you want and you're ready to go forward. And if that's the case, more power to you. But with a Mercury retrograde in your sign, what you think you need and what you think you really, really want, you might end up changing your mind. So allow yourself that little bit of permission to change your mind where possible, especially in the early part of the month. But by the time we get to this new moon, it does look like you are feeling more and more clear about who you are and what it is you want and more and more generous as well at this time. Now that generosity is further fueled by the fact that two days before the new moon, we are going to have Venus meeting Jupiter in the same part of the sky. There absolutely will be some sense of prosperity with you. Whether it is more money, uh, a new opportunity, a sense of you being able to create more opportunity or just having great ideas, financially speaking, as possible, but also a real boost in terms of self-esteem and self-worth is set to happen for you. And so this in some ways, this meeting of Venus and Jupiter is sort of a cherry on top moment of the larger transit that you've had throughout the year of Jupiter moving through this part of the sky. When Jupiter moves through this part of the sky, it's like your income goes from one bracket to another higher bracket. And it is going to be Venus now that makes sure it comes together for you so that you know you're better now because of it. Next month in December, right out of the gate, Jupiter is going to change signs. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. There will be a Jupiter special horoscope over the course of this month at some point as well. So be on the lookout for that. But at least for now and for this month, you're gonna to continue to have this wonderful uh, blessing energy continuing to move through a part of the sky that has to do with prosperity and it just accelerates just towards the end. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm coming back to that full moon because yes, we have this meeting of Venus and Jupiter and astrologers do call that the most romantic day of the year. So we have that happening, okay, right around the 24th. And you can use that for the romantic vibes, but where it comes to relationships, the real high point for you this month is going to be that full moon in the middle of the month. If you're open to meeting someone new, it is this full moon that presents some of the best opportunity to connect with someone new. So just you be you, be open, and chances are you will connect with somebody. However, your first impression may not be the impression that you have as we move towards the end of the month once Mercury goes direct. And so regardless of how you may feel, whether it's a mixed feeling, whether it's a great feeling or otherwise, know that there still is a lot of potential here for a long-term uh, connection to transpire, but the connection is made around the full moon. And so just you being you and you being open and out and about, you've got some great energy for connecting with someone with real long-term potential here and a real sense of a strong attraction that feels easy not necessarily overpowering. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, so if you're just dating somebody, I do feel this full moon is gonna be a real moment of truth for you. Some developments are gonna take place that help you to understand whether or not this is someone you're moving forward with, and it is a very all or nothing energy here. And even though Mercury is retrograde, at the very least, you will gain some insights at the time of this full moon that will then lend themselves to you understanding where this is going as we move towards the end of the month once Mercury does go direct. And for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, I do feel like your partner is gonna come into focus in some way in the middle of the month. But given how beautifully harmonious this energy is, I'm seeing a deepening of commitment a deepening of the dedication that the two of you have with each other. And this could very well be a sense of the relationship moving forward, advancing in some significant way. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I am going to say, you know, how do you pick? It's love energy in the middle of the month, but there's prosperity towards the end of the month as well. There's a sense of you understanding yourself in relation to another mid-month, but then there's a sense of genuine self-love late in the month as well. All of them have their place and have their purpose. But the great thing is, is that you are moving forward now. You're moving in a direction of having, on the one hand, reflected on who you are in the first three weeks of the month. By the time we get to the end, you know your worth. 
and you are moving forward in your life towards a greater embodiment of it and towards a greater sense of prosperity on all fronts. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.